Hi, my name is Roland Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and also Proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with an acclaimed singer-songwriter, his name, Evan Nakamson. For more on Evan, you can read more about him right below this video, but in the meantime, here is a sneak peek at his latest single. Made my old soul young Shot me in the flow of time I didn't think I could be loved Then you changed my mind You loved Evan, I'm doing so much better now that the audience got a little sneak peek of your incredible single, Greater Than The Sum. Talk to me a little bit about the impetus of that song and also the visualizer that the audience just got a little sneak peek of. Ooh, the visualization. Uh, so there's this uh, great uh, animator who did the work. His name is Ben of uh, Sincere Gifts. Um, and I kind of let him take over the inspiration for um, the animation. Uh, so I kind of let him do his thing, I, uh, gave him the song, and then he worked his uh, sincere gifts to it. Um, but the song itself is, I wrote after a breakup, and I felt like we weren't able to really, there were a lot of things that were left unsaid um, afterwards, and the song was, um, a way to be able to, to, to say things. I love it. Well, I think a lot of people can relate to that, especially during the pandemic. My goodness, I know so many friends of mine who, you know, took the time to look within and realize maybe they needed to be on their own for a bit to kind of deal with what they needed to deal with. And I, so I think it's a timely and timeless sentiment. Sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. Evan, I want to know where it began for you. Where did you grow up and when did you realize that you had such an incredible talent, not only singing, but then buoying into when you knew that you could also write? Oh, that's, that's really, really, uh, that's really sweet and humble uh, that you'd say, you'd say that. Um, I grew up in Maryland in a town called Reisterstown. Uh, it's kind of like a small-ish town. It was rural, suburban both kind of meshed together as one. Um, I started writing when I was in middle school uh, from a real need of expression um, and just kind of got hooked on, uh, on the writing aspect of things and songwriting. Um, so yeah, there was, uh, as a, there was just a lot of turmoil in my house at the time and my way of expressing myself and being able to like make sense of it was through songwriting. Um, and so that's kind of how I, I caught the bug. Um, I realized that my dream was a vehicle to get me out of my uh, home circumstances. Um, and it led me to um, Boston where I went to college um, and then uh, New York City where I was in Brooklyn for seven or eight years as a professional musician uh, and just moved this month or last month now shit to, to Asheville, North Carolina, um, fell in love with the mountains, the pace of life, um, and been focusing on an audio series um, that I've been working on now. It's amazing, Evan. I mean, look at these past 18 months have been tough for all humans, but especially artists. It's allowed us all to really look within and in, in, 
in maybe highlighting why we do what we do. And good for you to realize, you know what? You wanted a little bit of a different pace of life. Talk to me about this audio series that the audience can get maybe a little sneak peek inside yeah. of that. Sure. Um, I started writing this. Um, I started writing a book years ago after a, a wild, a wild breakup um, experience uh, and realized that I wrote like a whole rough draft for it um, and then realized, oh, shit, this is this is really hard. And as a musician and, and songwriter, I, I didn't want to leave my craft of uh, or and field of music. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd put both of them together. Um, the audio series is like eight episodes, 30 minutes long, uh, scripted fictional narrative. Um, and it's scored with songs and music. Some of the episodes are told through songs, almost like a musical. Um, and some are more narrative and literary based. Um, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, look at at the end of the day, you're a storyteller. People can sense it with just maybe the minute clip of, you know, your music visualizer, visualization. I don't know what the kids are calling it this day, but- the kids saying these days? I don't know either. I don't know either, um, but you're a great storyteller. So it doesn't surprise me that you are, I don't even wanna say pivoting because for me, when I think about the breadth of your work that I've gotten to see, you're an artist and it's kind of like maybe getting away from New York was an opportunity for you to realize more than ever, your ability to combine all or at least more than you have before, more of the tools in your tool belt than you have before. Absolutely, yeah. I don't think anything has to be this or that. Um, well, the world would, right? I mean, the world loves to put us artists in a box because it's easily digestible for them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's old. Um, and it's just, I guess it's easier to, to stick to them. Uh, it's safer uh, to attach ourselves to a story or an identity of some sort. And I think what I'm trying to do right now in my life is separate from any sort of attachment to any identity and create more space and freedom for myself to explore um, and just be happy. <laughs> Evan. It's too early for, for me to get teared up, but that was beautiful. And oh, give me a hug. Give me a hug, Will. Aw. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Listen, I want to let our audience know for more on the incredible Evan, you can read more about him right below this video. Evan, thank you so much for your time today, really. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it.